Hello guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, this video had to be an unboxing, but lately I've been very busy because I'm changing um, jobs, so I've already unboxed the plants because they arrived to me a week ago, <laughs> so I thought, you're not going to keep them in those boxes, they might be wet, they might rot, get them out of those boxes and you're going to film them later. So that's what I did and those are my new four plants which I'm going to show you each one individually. Okay so first up we have a beautiful Trescantia. This one is the white um, a variety which I have the purple, the dark purple, the pink and and the green. I'm going to show you the green. It's a bit succulent. I'm not sure if I have shown you guys. This is a cutting that I just put it in here <laughs> uh, I may have to remove it but this is with a thicker leaves and it's really beautiful this was five bucks from a shop and this one was five bucks from a nursery what can I say I really enjoy shopping from nurseries they bring really big plants really cheap plants most of the time uh, if they are a bit of it uh, in the rare section they are going to be expensive no matter how big <laughs> they are they are going to be expensive so i've put on the hook because i like those hanging like this and yeah oh and i forgot to mention those guys like really bright light the brightest the better as you can see this one is all white it's really beautiful uh, as much bright light and you have to let them dry out not all the way maybe to the half of the pot and then you drench them in water they don't like to stay dry they are going to be, get droopy and they're going to dry from the top to the bottom if you're not on top of watering and you don't check your plants every day if you don't cut and uh, root those guys this plant is dead so Stay on top of watering with Trescantias. They are really beautiful, they are really nice plants, they are really easy to propagate, but stay on top of watering with those beautiful luscious guys. Okay, so next we have a Stephanotis, which is without flowers, it was very cheap, and it's a vine, so I got myself one <laughs> why not it was five bucks as well and it has this long long vine and those guys are like Hoyas they put the uh, the vine first the stick which is bare and then they are starting to form the leaves as you can see here those are going to get bigger and bigger and maybe the size of this one <clears throat> so this guy is very dirty because in the nurseries they spray them with water and most of the time the water is very hard and yeah but it's a great plant I'm going to untangle this from the uh, stake the metal stake that it's uh, currently on and I'm going to pot it with uh, my other Stephanotis to make a bushier plant 
bushier looking plant. So I'm going to do this. This is my older Stephanotis, which is coming back to life. Uh, I got it from my current job as a stick, a stem with a few leaves on and I'm reviving it. <laughs> I don't know why I always get uh, bad plants. I don't have time to take care of them and wa uh, wait for them to grow. I keep doing it and I'm wasting my time but it's really It's looking good. <laughs> it's satisfying to uh, tell yourself you did a good job. So, enough blobbing. <laughs> I'm going to repot this guy, those two guys, in this pot. So, let me keep you in close. Okay, so first up, I'm going to repot this. And I want to show. Uh, I want to see and as well show the progress of the roots. This is rooted quite nice. Ooh, it's rooted quite nice. As you can see, it has a nice root system, which is shocking because I've got it. I had it with barely no roots. Okay, that's really nice. I like the progress. I'm not going to uh, remove the soil from all of the roots. I'm just making sure that I uh, have the space for two plants in this pot because those guys don't like too much water so they can stay in a smaller pot okay that's pretty good for me and then going to unpot this guy as well do I have to cut those no okay that made it easier for me not that easier <laughs> okay oh this one has a nice root system as well but it's very moist this is very fine soil i don't know why nurseries always leave the plug in and don't add drainage to the soil it's not that hard some rock some perlite or whatever is going to work I don't get it. So I need to remove the plug without damaging much roots. <laughs> but it's hard as you can see. Okay, the plug has drainage <laughs> for whatever reason. So I'm not going to disturb the roots furthermore. So I'm going to wash the root system and get the soil as much as I can off the roots. Okay, that was easier <laughs> than uh, uh, what I, I expected expected to be. 
So now I'm going to untangle this vine. I'm going to need my scissors. Okay, so we are all done and I'm just going to show you <laughs> This is Quite a big plant. So I'm going to put it in really bright spot and Going to let it dry Really dry bone dry those guys really like to get bone dry so, let's grab the next plant. Okay, so the next plant is this one. And if you're a plant lover, you already know what it is. This is a philodendron micans. Nope, this is not a pretty leaf. So, I got it really cheap because it's not in a great state. It has some bad looking leaves but i'm okay with that since i'm going to cut it and propagate it in the spring so it doesn't matter for me but it's really quite good plant and it's a, a long vine so i'm pretty happy with that this likes really bright light as well as every other philodendron uh, and they like to dry out in between waterings. That's all <laughs> I can say to that to this guy. I'm going to keep you updated if something new and awesome happens. <laughs> so I'm not going to report it yet. I'm not going to disturb it. I'm just going to let it dry out, water it, and maybe fertilize it every now and again. So, let's get on with the next and the last plant. Okay, so the last plant is this beautiful Sansevieria, which I have to keep in this uh, decorative pot, because it's really heavy and it's 
uh, tips over. So I said to myself, I need a succulent, but I need something thick and juicy. So I got something thick and juicy, <laughs> this beautiful Sansevieria. Uh, I'm not pretty sure about the variety. I'm more of a aroid and an orchid person. So an epiphyte person. <laughs> uh, and yeah, since I have to water this when it's bone dry or a few days later I'm pretty happy with this this is really really quite nice succulent it has those hard water stains I'm going to clean them uh, with some lemon juice and water because the paraffin oil just didn't do the job for whatever reason I've sprayed it with my solution, but maybe the water is the water stains are really hard and really uh, thick layer. So yeah, I'm going to clean this uh, with some lemon and some water. <laughs> so I'm back, uh, and this one of all of the four was the most expensive which is strange for me because this is a succulent and it's small but yeah <laughs> I'm I don't mind it I paid the the money but it was strange the Mycans was cheaper than this so I was a little bit, uh, I felt strange, <laughs> I don't know, maybe succulents are expensive, or sensivarius are expensive, I don't know. Okay, so those are my four new plants, which I really like, really adore, and I'm gonna take the greatest care which I can provide to them. I hope they thrive, and I'm going to keep you updated. So that was for today, I hope you enjoyed it, if you do so. Give me a like, comment, subscribe, and we're gonna see each other in the next one. Have a great day!